Hello, I uh, just thought I'd show you my latest invention. <laughs> or craziness. Okay, so this is a uh, four boiler steam engine. Currently still powering up. We're uh, generating over 135,000 power from it. And it's still powering up. Uh, there's a total of uh, six lines of 27 pistons on each side. So that's 12 times 27 if someone wants to do the maths. Uh, lots. Uh, give me a sec. Just opening up a calculator. 12 times 27. Uh, 324. That's 324 pistons. Now, that's a lot of pistons. That's a lot of power being produced. Um, it's stable at the moment. I don't actually know how high it's going to go. Uh, but basically it's uh, a total of 12 runs, um, exactly the same thing on each one, piston, piston, piston. Along the top we've literally got an array of uh, pipes connecting it all up together. Um, there is currently no steam release valve because I don't know if it'll ever get to a point where it'd need to be released. I mean look, it's nearly 200,000 power. It's just ridiculous. Um, so as I say, it's got four boilers. <laughs> the boilers are huge in themselves. Um, they're coming in a total of 191.7 meters cubed of boiling chamber each. Now to put this in context, a small boiling, uh, a small boiler with three pieces has about 2.4 meters cubed. Okay, so this is nearly 100 times that size. Um, so that can produce around a thousand power with three pieces on a small boiling chamber. We're currently at 200,000 power and still going up. In fact, the speed of the pistons is still going up. Um, as you can see, we've got a rotation speed of only 400. We can go up to 1800. I don't think this is going to reach that somehow, but you never know. Um, yeah. It's crazy. It's absolutely, totally crazy. <laughs> Imagine how many shields you could stick around this. I imagine how much space you require to put it in. Anyway, so uh, this is inside a rather large boat I created. It's more of a, a cargo boat. As you can see, it's nothing special, but it has an absolute monster of an engine in it. Look at that. Absolutely crazy. That's interesting. Okay, so the chug sound comes from the crank shift, yeah, crankshaft gearboxes. So you can't actually hear it from the pistons. I'd have thought it would have come from the pistons, but it's the gearboxes that make the noise. That's interesting. Um, another little intriguing fact for you for this game. Um, what are we at? 442 rotation speed, 237,000 power. I'm going to uh, take a break for a moment and come back and let you know what it gets up to. So I bring you back at the uh, point where it's nearly finished climbing engine power. <laughs> it's still going up. We're nearly at 296,000 power from this engine. It's quite amazing, but to be fair, I'm pretty sure you wouldn't be far off getting that from a fuel engine in the same space. The only difference is this doesn't actually emit any heat at this stage. And, well, it's, it looks cool and it sounds cool. Whereas an engine just goes... I mean, you know that's not exactly exciting, is it? So, I'm going to leave you at this very exciting stage. I'm going to have another quick look around this particular vehicle and let me know what you think. So we have the bridge. No, there is a steering wheel. Uh, we have an area to be filled in. A nice flat area here. This is designed as a cargo container, a uh, container type vessel, which is why it 
is basically empty. Uh, front area, which is partially rounded. Underneath section, which is where the batteries live. Or where the fuel lives, should I say, not the batteries. It used to need fuel, but I converted it to a steam engine layout. And then this absolute monster of an engine. So the pressure is still going up slowly. It'll probably breach 300,000. So anyway, if you want a 300,000 power engine, you require 324 pistons and four gigantic boiling chambers. I hope this has been useful for you. Thanks.